Hey Stace, I am back today with another Cricut Explore video. We are also doing our Make It Up Monday project and today we are making a really cute bear pop-up card. Isn't that fun? On the back side I stamped a bunch of hearts on it to kind of make our own pattern paper to mimic the hearts on the inside. We're also going to add our own custom text there. It says I love you very much and of course there's a coordinating envelope as well. Alright, let's go to the computer and we'll get started. Alright, at the computer you want to go to Cricut.com slash design. You're going to see this screen here upper left hand corner where it says account. Click on that to sign in. Enter in your email and your password. When you see your name in that green box that verifies that you were logged in. You want to go to the right and click on where it says all categories. And then go down and click on cards Mother's Day. On this screen you're going to see the Mama Bear Mother's Day card. Click on that or it's going to bring up the preview window. Bottom right, click on Customize. All right, so we have the envelope. I'm going to go ahead and click on that piece, move that out of the way. Also, this heart, move the card, move the green piece, the blue piece out of my way as well, and also these hearts. I'm just going to go ahead and select them both and move them over. I, I do want to customize this text. If you want to leave it that way, you could. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this piece here, right click on it, choose Detach. Now remember, when you are detaching something, you are also detaching the score marks, so be, care be very careful not to move the card around. Go ahead and click on the text here. I'm going to click on the X, remove that. Left hand side toolbar, click on Add Text. You can type in whatever you want. I'm going to type in, I love you very much, with an exclamation point. Click on my text here, go to the right hand side toolbar under Edit, change it from All Font to Has a Writing Style. And the font I chose was called Hopeless Romantic, so I'm going to go ahead and click on Cricut Alphabet, and then go down to the H section and choose Hopeless Romantic. I'm going to go ahead and click on my text and bring it up where I want it. I'm also going to double click on my text box. I'm going to put my cursor in front of the word Very, and then use my space bar to kind of move it over. Okay, now I'm going to Lift it up a little bit very carefully. All right, when you have your text where you want it, so I'm going to go to click on that again, move it over a little bit more. Okay, when you have that where you want it, go ahead and take your left mouse button, highlight it across the entire image and the text, right click on it, and then choose attach. That's going to reattach our score marks and also attach our text to that piece. Top toolbar, click on go. All right, so we need a green piece, a brown piece for the envelope, or a cream color. I'm, I'm going to use the cream color, a blue color here for the background, the cream color for the main image of the card, and then we have the red for the hearts. I will make my envelope be the same color as my card itself. All right, bottom right, click on Go. I'm going to cut these out over the table and put everything together. All right, guys, we are back. All of our pieces cut out. I'm first going to go ahead and work with the envelope. Go ahead and finger press on the score marks. If I can find them. Take my red folder and crease them. Do the sides. Last at the top, or this side rather. My Cricut's not doing the best job with the um, scoring tool. I'm really hoping they're doing an update soon to address that. Alrighty. Okay, we have that now. We'll take this side. Take some glue. I'm using art glitter glue from maymaymadeit.com. Put some along this side, along that side. I'm going to flip it over and then just kind of rub with my fingers. Okay. Now we have the hearts. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those. You have the big heart for the envelope. here on a little bit of an angle. Okay, 
so our envelope is done. Let me set that aside. All right, now we have this piece. I'm also going to grab these two hearts as well, otherwise I might lose them. So put some glue on those. Flatten like our bears. Grab this one. I'm actually going to put a dot of glue on that one. It'll be a little bit easier. Alrighty. Alright, now we're going to go in and start folding this up. Now we have the one right underneath the word berry. That's going to kind of go outward. Okay. The one above the bear is going to get folded toward us or toward you. Then we have another one. Above the little bear. That's going to get folded toward us as well. I'm just kind of going behind it and pinching them. All right, then we have the legs of the mama bear, or the big bear. That's going to go this way. And that leg over there. And then we have the little one. Their legs are also going to go toward us. So it's going to kind of go like that. I'm going to lightly go back behind them. Give them a good pinch. Take, I'm going to take the top part, fold it over with my bone folder, give it a crease, a little bare piece, bring that one up. But this one's probably one of the easiest pop-up cards we've done so far. I'm going to flip it over now, take my bone folder and just really crease these guys. Okay. I'm also going to lay the card flat as well. Line everything up and then work on that one. Just get them a little crease. That's going to be the center of our card piece. All right, now we have the card. Now what I did here with the blue, I did change my color out from the original. And I also used a bunch of ink. Just go ahead and fold this guy right in half. It's easier to do it that way versus trying to find the score line for me. And then the green piece, I also sponge that to make it look more of a, like a background. Now let's take these guys, open this up. We're going to grab our glue again and glue the top green piece on first. Okay. I'm going to line it up at the top here and the sides. Also fold it, make sure everything's staying lined up. All right. Now for this one, we're going to go ahead and put glue. I'll work on the top half where our, our text is. Okay, and then take that part and line that up at the top. Lay it flat. Okay, so we're good there. I'm gonna fold the card in half. Just gonna give it a squish here. I forgot to, on this one, I did go ahead and stamp a bunch of hearts on it. I forgot to do that on this one, but I would do that before I assemble the card. All right, so I'm gonna put glue all around this one. Down here. Of course, like I said, if you want to leave it to where it says Love You Mama Bear, I think that's a really cute card just to give every day for mom. But I think it's also really cute to customize your text as well. I think it'd be great for little kids' birthday parties. You know, you could be like, hope you have a very good birthday. All right, so I think we're pretty good. I'm just going to kind of squish everything down there and fold our card up. I need to pop my little bear back out of there. All right, so just go ahead and carefully fold it, and then just really go in there and press everything down. Okay, should be pretty good. Super cute, right? And it still goes about like five minutes to make. All right, let's grab our little envelope here. I always put the folded end in first, otherwise it might catch. Make sure it fits in there, and it does. Super cute. You can also put the heart over here in the bottom right hand corner or cut out more hearts or if you're going to stamp hearts like I did here on the background, maybe a few stamps on the bottom corner, but 
Anyway, guys, there you have it. Today's Bacon on Monday project. A really cute, um, a very cute pop-up card. Super cute. All right, guys, any questions, let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.